Good evening, I'm Sarah Chitrakar and these are the headlines of the hour. Special Parliamentary Probe Committee concludes former Home Minister Lamichani was involved in cooperatives' mishandling of depositors' money, recommends action against Congress leader Gurung. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli heads to New York to attend the 79th General Assembly of UN. Oli's presence a chance to highlight on the impacts of climate change on Nepal. Israeli military says it's carried out a targeted strike on the Lebanese capital Beirut after Hezbollah fired more than 100 rockets into Israel. It comes after more than 30 were killed in a series of exploding device attacks. And Erika Gurung enters into the Karate Asian Championship Final, another historic medal for Nepal captain. Erika to play against Vietnam's Nguyen on Sunday. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli he is heading to New York to participate in the 79th United, Nation United Nations General Assembly. This year's theme of the event is Leaving No One Behind, Acting Together for the Advancement of Peace, Sustainable Development and Human Dignity for Present and Future Generations. Premier Oli had reached the Hamad International Airport at 3 p.m. local time where he was received by Nepal's ambassador to Qatar, Kumar Rai, and senior officials of the embassy. Prime Minister Oli will attend the opening session of the general debate of the 79th UNGA on September 24 and the reception to be hosted by the President of the United States, Joe Biden, on September 25. While in New York, the Prime Minister will address the Summit of the Future as the Chair of the Global Coordination Bureau of Least Developed Countries, LDCs. He will also address the high-level plenary meeting on addressing the existential threats posed by sea level rise and the high-level meeting on antimicrobial resistance, AMR, among others. On 23rd September, Prime Minister Oli will deliver a keynote address on Nepal's journey to democracy and economic prosperity at Columbia University. In addition, he will also speak at the John F. Kennedy Jr. Forum at Harvard University on Nepal's prospective from transitional justice to climate justice on September 27. Similarly, the Prime Minister will leave, in fact, have a meeting with the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, and is scheduled to hold bilateral meetings in the margins of the UNGA, according to the Foreign Ministry. Prime Minister Oli is accompanied by his spouse, Radhika Shakya, Minister for Foreign Affairs, Arzurana Deuba, Foreign Secretary, Sewa Lamsal, and other senior officials of the Government of Nepal. He will return to Kathmandu on September 30. In our Public Voice segment, today we have asked regarding the issues that should be addressed by Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli before the international community. Let's take a look at what they had to say. You apply in Kubise, on your Nepal Mabokari, Passwego, TRC, Act Lice. Climate <laughs> त्यागेर मान्छे मरिसकेपछि उहाँहरुको समयमा उद्धार नहुने क्षतिपूर्ति नपाउने अनि त्यहाँबाट शरीरलाई पनि यहाँ ल्याउँदा महिनौ महिना लाग्ने भएको यस्ता विकराल समस्याहरुले नेपाल ग्रसित छ विल टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक हियर मोर न्यूज कमिंग अप the Special Parliamentary Probe Committee has concluded that former managing director of Gorkha Media Network, Ravi Lamichane, had misused 240 million rupees channeled to the media group by issuing 60, 16 separate checks. The committee in its report has stated that the checks which was signed by Lamichane has been recorded. Likewise, the committee has recommended to take actions against former Vice President of Congress, Thanraj Gurung, for embezzling depositors' money of Miteri cooperatives. Rabi Lamishani and his supporters celebrated after the committee submitted its report at the Parliament, citing he had been provided a clean chit. 
However, the coordinator of the committee and cooperative victims demanded actions against Lamichani. The report published by the Parliament Secretariat concluded that payment of a total of 237,989,731 rupees was paid to various companies and individuals by issuing cheques that were signed by Lamichani. Gitendra Babu GB Rai had channeled 655,404,538 rupees to Gorkha Media from various cooperatives. 24.63 million was obtained from Surya Darshan, Supreme, Sano Paila, Swarna Lakshmi, Samanata and Sahara Cooperatives. 430,774,537 rupees was obtained as loan in the name of various individuals and transferred to Gorkha Media while 82,091,643 rupees is said to have been used by GB Rai himself. According to the report, 120 million rupees was accounted for as share capital for Gorkha Media Network. The committee has concluded that 650 million rupees had been injected to the entity illegally and has recommended to take actions against Rashtriya Sotantra Party Chair Lamichani. Time now for our segment, Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. Before that, let's take a look at the result from yesterday's poll. Yesterday, we had asked the government has operated fair price shops for the Dashai festival. What is your opinion about this? 55% voted for A, sell without making profits, 35% for B, take it nationwide, and 10% for C, prioritize regulation, not business. Here's today's question. What's your take on parties taking in teachers while parliamentarians voice against teachers' involvement in politics? Your options are A, double standard, B, apathy to laws, and C, political gain. Voting is on. Type any WS, select your option, A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Time now for international update. The Israeli military says it's carried out a targeted strike on the Lebanese capital, Beirut, after Hezbollah fired more than 100 rockets into Israel. It comes after more than 30 people were killed in a series of exploding device attacks on Hezbollah members earlier in the week, which were widely blamed on Israel. Hassan Nasrallah, the Iran-backed group's leader, vowed to inflict retribution in a speech on Thursday. Since then, Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire over the border. Earlier, Israel said the group had launched 140 rockets towards northern Israel, most of which were intercepted. Israel's airstrike on Beirut is the third on the Lebanese capital this year. A previous strike in July killed a Hezbollah military chief and another in January killed Hamas's deputy leader. We'll take a short break here. We have more news coming up. Time now for sports update. Sports news. Nepalese athlete Erika Gurung has made a historic achievement for the country by entering into the final of Asian Karate Championship. With this, Nepal is certain to get a silver medal in karate. Erika emerged victorious in three matches under the senior above 68 kilograms category. She had defeated Filipino Brito. Arinase Isabel 5-0 in her first bout. In the quarterfinal round, she was declared winner against Kazakhstan's Berul Tesva Sofia, who had defeated Erika in the 19th Asian Games. In the semifinal, she defeated Thailand's Songklin Fewalin 8-0 to make a place in the final. Erika will now play against Vietnam's Nguyen Thi Gong in the final slated for Sunday. 11 Nepalese athletes are participating in the Asian Championship. Three are competing in Kata and seven in Kumute category. Apart from Erika, Mohammed Seku Alam has also registered win for Nepal. However, he was defeated in the second bout. Other players also lost their first matches. Nepal has not been able to bag medal in the senior category so far. That's all for the moment. Up next is Nepali News. Thank you for watching. Good night.